everyone. It is April 30th, 2018. We are here for a video blog for this full moon. Sammy has been giving me a nudge for the last couple of days to put out a, uh, a video blog and a little bit of energy work in order to anchor what's streaming in now. So we'll do our best to explain what is happening. It really is beyond words and the concepts that we're going to introduce are maybe perhaps not exactly the way it is, but a way for the for our minds in this time, in this intense period when we are anchoring in, ask, being asked to embody um, a level of consciousness that has not been available to us in the last, what I would call, epoch of, of humanity. So if you'll, um, if you'll bear with us and want to continue to listen, we hope that this will assist you in the intense process that is happening right now. So in order to really uh, explain what is perhaps happening, um, let's start here with the Creatrix of Form from the Diamond Sun. So the Diamond Sun is what uh, I've been informed and others are talking about the Diamond Sun is where the original divine blueprint was created. So let's imagine that this is uh, the creatrix of form from the mm -hmm. Diamond Sun that is uh, has now been engaged and that we now have access to. The simplest explanation that I can give right now is that uh, the portal to the Diamond Sun at some point many, many thousands of years ago collapsed and we lost our connection with the original Divine Blueprint. And uh, although the Divine Blueprint was available to, let's say, a degree, the full access was not available until the the portal to the Diamond Sun was uh, reconstructed starting last year in 2017. Now that's the way uh, I've been shown it and uh, based on the intensity that I've been experiencing and what my daughter who is considered a, um, a non-speaking high vibrational autistic person, and she doesn't like that word uh, autistic, uh, there a, a consciousness from beyond uh, the universe that we've been operating in. Uh, they operate in the, the full harmonic, let's say, of, of this universal um, time. Uh, well, I'm not even sure what to call it, but the, the, seven, the, the seven octaves of uh, this universe is probably the closest approximation that I can get to and and yet at the same time it, it's like from beyond the universe that we have known uh, that we've been operating in so they're from uh, there she is from the, the seventh highest heaven let's say of this um, of the universe um, and the creatrix of form was was uh, is from the diamond Sun and it contains the original divine blueprint. I think um, the other explanation is that, so when the original divine blueprint of humanity was created, it also created, let's say, the Gaian consciousness. So the Gaian consciousness is a also a collective consciousness. The divine blueprint, which uh, is our DNA, codes that spirit moves through in order to um, weave together a form, let's say. Um, it was also when our divine blueprint was created, it also created the animal blueprint and also the plant uh, kingdom 
of our of this earth so we were meant to be vibrating with the Gaian consciousness and we are very much tied to the earth as the human form to this earth and so that's why we would see that our DNA we share DNA with the plants and the animals all life on this planet is what's what's coming through right now so when we lost that connection we also lost our uh, connection our innate connection let's say to knowing and vibrating fully with the earth it's all its elemental spirits and divas the animals and also the, the plants and all life on this planet um, the other important part now to recognize is that with this from this creatrix of form then the human soul was also created and what they're uh, saying is that the human soul is actually one soul so this is just a let's say a representation of the one human soul and each person or uh, there's a soul matrix of an individual form that comes from this one human soul some might call it the uh, the over soul and so as individuals when we are vibrating as um, as a, as a as a human being we are actually supposed to be we're supposed to be connected to this one human oversoul and each one as you can see is a different color because each person has a unique vibration that's created out of this soul matrix so let me just say a little bit about um, a matrix a matrix is like a ge geometry form or of light codes that creates uh, a form and and structure on this planet or in, in 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 form in general so behind all form is a is a matrix that has the the blueprint the the light codes the information let's say about how to uh, incarnate a form so from this one human soul is an individual let's say soul matrix and each one of us is unique in service to the one human soul so that we are all operating as one this is an innate knowledge of the law of one and it's also an innate knowledge of unity consciousness and that we all each have a gift to deliver in service to one another and in service to the greater vastness of being let's say so this uh, soul matrix then interacts with the quantum soup let's say of um, this universe which exists in the what we would call the unseen realms or the realms of uh, as I'm seeing it now the black liquid gold um, of antiparticles anti matter anti-gravity fields and so this individual soul matrix then has the instruction set for your particular manifestation on this planet and so the soul matrix engages that quantum soup and uh, you have this form that you call yourself to be human so it is the vessel the vehicle of this greater human soul and unified in this unified field and this unified uh, intelligence that we exist in um, we're not like one soul 
and that we have been reincarnating to correct past mistakes because when we are vibrating with the one human soul the one human oversoul then we innately understand what our role is uh, and what this vehicle is designed to do on this on this planet so as we are now as this portal to the diamond sun and the creatrix uh, form is available to us and streaming in we are embodying more and more of that consciousness which is the let's say the creatrix of form it's a consciousness it's not um, necessarily just this matrix that I just showed you it's a way of capturing uh, it for this moment uh, in this incarnation of what that might look like and bringing coherence to that creatrix um, but we are now being asked to embody more and more so in recent weeks we have been connecting to the divine human angelic self let's say and now what uh, I'm being shown is coming in with this full moon is that we are actually connecting to the um, uh, the Gaian consciousness the animal kingdom consciousness the plant kingdom consciousness that consciousness that created the original human soul and also the uh, original Gaian consciousness, the full Gaian consciousness that we were supposed to be in resonance with. So what um, we're being shown is happening is that this information uh, from the creatrix of form is coming through the eighth dimension and the eighth dimension let's say in our bodies our connection is uh, the high heart which is the thymic chakra uh, right there at mid chest between the throat chakra and the heart chakra so it's coming in through the eighth dimension and uh, we're going to do a, a brief energy process to help you aligned to this level of information. So if you'll take a moment now and fully relax into your body. And there's Sammy in the background, she is speaking her light language. Those deep guttural sounds are uh, so that it vibrates actually in matter, in our physical form. So take some deep breaths. Now engage your personal earth stars, which is about 12 inches below your feet. Also engaging the soul star, which is about six to eight inches above the head. So this helps us to connect, connect to Gaia, be connected to the earth in a balanced way as we do this process. So now the eighth chakra, the diamond codes coming through, the information of the creatrix of form coming through this eighth dimensional opening. We're going to take this energy of this diamond in the high heart and keep moving, move it down. Breathe into the heart chakra. Passing through into the solar plexus. The sacral, the root chakra. Connecting to the earth star below your feet. 
for a moment here, I'm also going to now draw a pattern that connects the palm and the um, heart chakras as well. Okay, and it connects. You're going to feel your hand and feet and into the crown. So the crown, the seventh chakra, is like the seventh dimension. So now bridging that in this information from the thymic chakra up to the throat, the pituitary, the hypothalamus, and into the crown. I draw a sphere around all of it, to bring balance and coherence. We also we also use a fifteen chakra system because there are actually fifteen dimensions. To this universe. So engaging all 15 chakras and uh, we're going to introduce a, uh, a meditation here in the next day or so to engage the 15 chakra system. So stay tuned for that. And just for today, we're going to balance with this diamond from the diamond sun bringing in the information of the creatrix of form. Okay, they're saying that the sphere is the creatrix of form around you. Imagine yourself being in that center of the creatrix of form. This is the human. Okay. The Andromedan Crystal Heart. Uh, if you've watched our Supporting Awesome Conscious Evolution meetings, then this is the, um, the Andromedan Crystal Heart that is part of that, uh, part of that logo. Also from the Diamond Sun, which has been radiating now for the last few months, since January or so, um, to help you anchor this point Imagine that this point anchors into the tailbone, into your tailbone and your root chakra. This will help balance and stabilize the level of information that is now coming in. And just to summarize again, what's streaming in from the creatrix of form is information that connection connects us to the Gaian consciousness, connects us to the consciousness of the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the divas, which supports all life on this planet, the elemental spirits of ether, fire, earth, water, and air, which is part of the full consciousness of the earth and all its atmospheres. So now also imagine the earth in the creatrix of form in that sphere and that we are one with this consciousness. I'm going to do a quick sweep of energy any information, any thoughts that are not in alignment with your personal soul consciousness is going to be transmuted. Breathe deeply. Reconnecting again to your personal earth star. Going up to your soul star to hold this information in alignment with your divine blueprint. For more information, check out our website. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, the Moon Oral One. This, this is on. Um, there is uh, some energy work that we did for the Supporting Awesome Conscious Evolution meeting on March 28th. That energy work 
might explain a little bit more about um, what it means to ascend. Check out also uh, The Light of Autism on the closed Facebook page for additional information. So please stay tuned for more information that we will uh, continue to post on YouTube and uh, in our other social media avenues. Thank you very much.